When you said the United States remains committed to a unified, democratic and prosperous Iraq, you were just spouting the party line, were you? <laughs> Is there not an American responsibility, having invaded a country, dismantled all the apparatus of government, to ensure that the citizens of that country are not murdered, Oh, I would be honored and thrilled. As a matter of fact, some of them are already talking about doing it when they got mad because all the girls got to do some of these songs. So I said, hey, look, I'll just let anybody sing my songs. But actually, that would be great. I would love that. It wasn't just a woman thing. It was just the girls got to it first. You sound as if you're washing your hands of the whole affair. No, I, I'm going to be modest because I really, uh, I mean, I'm very proud of all of that. You never know when you start out in this uh, business what you're going to accomplish, nor do you know if you're going to last as long in this business as I have been lucky enough to. And here I am at my age and still all these young people. I, have, I told them, I said, I'm just glad to, st I was just glad to be getting off the porch, much less still be. And I take my songwriting more serious than any other thing that I do. So this would, this is the ultimate a compliment to me. What do you say when people turn to you and say, okay, Saddam Hussein was a dictator? I have thousands of songs left, so maybe they can do a volume one, volume two, because as you know, and I've told you before, because I can use the money, because it costs a lot to look this cheap. Except, of course, he, he didn't have any weapons of mass destruction, did he? It was like little tiny castle top. I love you and I'll for a while. Hope you never go away. I want you to stay. <laughs>